guys what's up it's free welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing another hair review you guys so this hair is from a company that's called nana hair virgin hair this is the company right here i'll leave the link down below they sent me over four bundles of hair they sent me two 26s two 24s and a 22 inch with a i think this is a 18 inch closure i think I four bundles they sent me two 26s and two 24s i believe that's the inches they sent me 226 and 224s and when I was doing my wig I was like oh my gosh because I was originally about to do a u-part wig but I was like you know what I just want to start you know stepping into frontals and closures and stuff like that so I asked them can they send me another bundle of hair and also a closure and they did thank you so much Nene Nana hair Nana virgin hair I think that's how you pronounce it um they so this is four bundles in a closure this is like a short closure but i'm gonna kind of try to make it like a frontal wig i already plucked it this time i plucked it myself my girl did such a uh, my friend did such a good job on my last um install i was like you know what i need to practice myself on how to do it so i did it myself and i didn't over plug i tried not to over plug my frontals because i'm learning i watch youtube videos every day on how to install wigs <laughs> um and sometimes we can over pluck so i didn't want to over plug so i didn't bleach this or anything all i did was tuck this <laughs> sally H henson airbrush lid tick glow makeup and i sprayed this on the closure and that's all i did and i let it dry so anywho i'm gonna use my got to be to lay this down with this glue i mean this spray this holding spray usually make my wigs last for about five days i have to actually take them off myself they do not slide i did go ahead and add an elastic band so you guys we are going to do this together, just like last time. I did do my baby hair a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and push my baby hairs back a little bit. Just a little bit. And this time, I'm not going to leave as much lace on the wig. So, I'm going to spray it like that. I'm going to take it on cool. You don't want to take it on hot because it's going to turn it white. So you want to take it on cool. Make sure that it's up enough on how you want it. This is what works for me. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of that off towards the end. Just spray it. spray it again and then these little tab things right here I'm gonna make sure I cut it off um, you don't want to keep those on because it's not natural looking I'm gonna spray it one more time and this time when I spray it I'm gonna get my comb or some type of comb push my baby hair kind of back so it can be out the way So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut up because I want to cut these little tab things off because that can make your wig look really unnatural. So I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors, I think, and I'm going to go ahead and cut these parts off. Okay, guys, so I did go ahead and cut those little tabs off. I'm going to go ahead and cut as much lace as I possibly can off. I'm not going to leave a lot of lace on the wig because I guess that's where I go wrong at. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up first with the scissors. Like that. And then I'm going to take a sharp eyebrow archer and I'm going to go ahead and kind of cut it. 
really close. I want to cut. All right, so that's where we at right now. That's the only little piece of lace. That's nothing. I can finesse that because it's only a little piece of lace. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this side as well. And once you do your baby edges, it's not going to look like that. And then over here, I want to, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're doing this together, girl. Okay, that looks good. That looks real good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. I think. I'm going to go ahead and like put more glue on it and clean up the hairline a little bit and I'll be right back. So I cut the lace off and all I'm doing now is taking some of the spray. I sprayed it on a brush just like this. This is what I like to do. Um, I'm learning and I'm just going whatever, whatever it looks white at, like the lace is too light. I'm just tapping the brush with the lead makeup on it. So it can look more natural and it's like it's coming out the scalp. Wow. Wow, that looks good. I'm so proud. <laughs> that look really freaking good. Right? Now, this is a closure wig. So, um, it's not like a frontal. So, I don't know if I'm going to put it behind my ear. Because all of this is my natural hair. Now, I can go ahead and mold my edges to make it look better. And I'm going to go ahead and hot comb it a little bit more. Just to make it a little bit flatter. And I think I'm going to mousse my baby edges a little bit. But not too much. Woo! It's hot. I got to turn the air up. I'm hot, y'all. Okay, guys. So, I let it I let it sit. I tied it up for about 10 minutes. And here is the hair, guys. Oh, my God. I can't believe I made this wig. I'm going to step back a little bit, scoop back, so you guys can see how it looks. I can't believe... I made this wig and styled it and did it myself. Like, girl, I feel like I've been missing out. This is so cute, y'all. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Nana Nene Hair. Oh my gosh, Nana Hair. Maybe it's called that, but I'll leave the link down below they sent over me I think they sent over five bundles but I only use four bundles and a closure this is a small closure if you want to experiment and practice like I am and you don't want to have to worry about an ear-to-ear -ear closure and yes I can wear it behind my ear wow look at my hair like I can wear my natural leave out this is how the hair look in the back it's nice it got a nice flow to it. It is beautiful. And I'm so glad that I didn't add that extra bundle because with straight hair, I don't want it to be too thick. I want it to be like natural looking. But I think I did good, you guys. I'm going to tie it down a little longer, but it's on really tight. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And... Stay tuned for more videos. I love you and I'll talk to you later.